Hey, welcome back guys. So we're over here in the head shop and I've got, we, we've got the cylinder head cleaned up and I'm getting ready to magma flux it. Now, I'm a little bit concerned because uh, there's one cylinder here that actually, it looks like it might have a crack in it. I'm not 100% sure, but one of the things that happens with these four liter heads is they have a, they're, they're very temperamental about cracking if you don't burp the system right after you flush the engine. So let's say you got a Jeep with a four liter in it and you want to flush the cooling system. Um, over the years working in the shop, uh, many, many years ago, we started seeing these four liters coming into the shop and they were cracked. They had a, they had a cracked head and it was always the same story from the customer and that was, yeah, you know, I just flushed the cooling system. The thing was running great, and I just flushed the cooling system the last two or three days, and all of a sudden it started running hot, and I had water and oil mixed. What happens is when you flush the cooling system on these four liters is there's a giant bubble in the top of the engine that you have to bleed and burp out of there. There's a procedure for doing that, but not a lot of people know it. They just fill the radiator back up with, with coolant and water, and if they don't go through the burping procedure, what happens is the, there's a bubble in the engine and it overheats and it cracks the head. The heads don't normally crack unless you don't have any coolant in them. So um, if we do find a crack in one of these heads, it, there's a good bet that that's probably what happened. So I'm, this is my magnafluxer here and this is an electromagnet. And we're gonna plug this thing in and fire it up and basically this is just a, a big heavy duty magnet and we have some mag powder we're going to put on here and um, I'm going to magma flux this because it looks like I got a crack here but we're going to verify that for sure. All right guys so this is the culprit right here. Um, I really don't like the way this looks. I've, I've seen enough of these to know but I want to verify it with the magma fluxer. We sprinkle the powder on there and if there's a crack, it is going to show up. Yep. Sure enough. So what happens is, if there's a crack, the magnet pulls the magnetic powder into the crack. And I'll try to get a better close-up of that, but we, we, now we have a problem because this head is basically junk. So, I'll move the camera and get a real good shot from up above on that. I'm sure you all can see that. We have a we have a crack right here and it's running right between the seats right down there. So that that is our when we magnet and and this is the cylinder that I suspected because there was some pitting here and stuff and it looked like there might be a crack there but uh, now we have verified it for sure. So, we're back to square one with the cylinder head. So you may be asking, you know, where does that leave us? Well, where it leaves us is we need to find another head, guys. Uh, I highly recommend that if you're gonna build a four liter that you get your cylinder head magna flux because of this very thing right here. You don't wanna put a cracked head on. And these heads, you know, they, they are kinda of known for cracking if you get them hot, so but at least we know now. We didn't really do any work to this head other than clean it up, but now we know which direction to go into. But magnafluxing crack, uh, searching for cracks is extremely important on these. So I am gonna go search for another head, and uh, we will continue this when I get back. Uh, probably, in a, it's probably not gonna be today. It'll probably be in, a, in another week or two. I actually have another head in the shop that's the exact same head as this, but it's not mine. It belongs to a friend of mine and his Jeep, so uh, yeah. I gotta find my own head. So uh, I appreciate you watching and uh, as soon as I get this figured out, I will be right back.